What Will You Be? by Simon French and Donna Rollins. What Will You Be? The dress up box was one of our favorite things at school. Mary and Jack liked to pretend that they were grown ups. Kyle and Tess liked the superhero costumes, but we were never quite sure what Sasha was pretending to be. One morning, our teacher, Mr. Judd, told us a special day is coming soon. Everyone at school can choose their own special outfits and we'll have a costume parade. Parents, grandparents, and friends are all invited. Are you going to wear something for the costume parade? We asked Mr. Judd. Maybe, he told us. Wait and see. And he gave us each a note about the special day to take home. It said, come as a character from a book or movie. I'm dressing up as a princess, said Mara. I'm going to be a superhero, said Sam. I'm dressing up as a mermaid, said Chi. I'm going to be something different, said Sasha. Come as a creature from the past or present. I'm dressing up as a hungry crocodile, said Kyle. I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly, said Tess. I'm going to be a growly grizzly bear, said Annika. I'm dressing up as a Tyrannosaurus Rex, said Jack. Furry costumes are too hot, said Sasha. Come as somebody magical. We'll be fairies, said Hannah and Greta. I'll be a scary witch, said Jade. I'll be a boy wizard, said Ben. I'll be a boy wizard too, said Ryan. There will be too many boy wizards, said Sasha. Come dressed up for work. I could be a builder, said Aaron. I could be a pop singer said Brayden. I could be a funny clown, said Naomi. I could be a racing car driver, said Luca. I don't have any work clothes at home, said Sasha. The day of the costume parade was getting closer and closer. My mom's going to buy me some fairy wings, said Hannah. My dad's going to lend me his helmet and overalls, said Luca. My mom's going to hire a bear suit for me, said Annika. My man is making me a superhero costume, said Sam. My mom doesn't have any spare time, said Sasha. Our new baby is keeping, very, is keeping her very busy. The costume parade was fun and colorful, crowded and noisy. There were butterflies and dinosaurs, Cinderella's and superheroes, boy wizards, and a growly grizzly bear. There were more fairies and ballerinas than anyone could ever remember seeing at school before. But no one could work out what Sasha had come as. He took turns parading with the book and movie characters. He paraded with the animals. He paraded with everyone magical. He even paraded with the people dressed for work. No one could guess what Sasha was pretending to be. He smiled and told us, I made it up by myself. It was my own idea and nobody had to help me. He looked very pleased with himself.
and Mr. Judd came dressed as himself. I just didn't know what to wear, he said.